That is their correct name. Yes, it is. This is a wiener. This is not a hot dog. A hot dog is a wiener that's been grilled and served on a bun. I worked in the professional kitchen. I know these things. Hey everybody. Today we're going to be making beanie wieners. It kind of trips off the tongue, don't you think? It's kind of cute, beanie wieners. Sometimes the name for my dishes comes before the actual recipe does. Such was the case for beanie wieners. Beanie wieners, beanie wieners, beanie wieners. Just try saying that three times fast. Not to toot my own horn or anything, but it's a pretty clever idea. I knew it was going to be a wiener forward meal and then, you know, pairing it with beans seemed like a natural, so Beanie Wieners was born. I'm always coming up with the good ideas. Yeah, and frankly, a bunch of wieners floating around in a pot of beans was something that I just knew I wanted to have in my mouth. I don't know how I can consistently come up with these things. I mean, that's gold. I am pretty obsessive about wieners. They are truly one of my favorite things in the world. I mean, take a look at my postcard collection. I always have wieners on hand, and I mean always. Um, it's just like a staple for me. I mean, look at my freezer, actually. There's tons down here. These ones, actually, I brought with me when I moved from my last apartment. Um, so they've been down there a while. What's the date? 2016. So, you know, I've had these for a while, but you know, they're frozen. I'm sure they're totally fine. I get them like whenever I go out, like to a restaurant or travel to a new city or to a new country, when I'm on vacation, when I'm at a rest stop, at a truck stop, when I'm in an airport, at a carnival, when I'm jet lagged, when I'm starving, when I'm too tired to think about it, I'm always going to want a wiener. Wieners are to me like one of those things that I always reach for when I'm feeling anxious because I can put them together with just about anything I have on hand and it's a complete meal. You can combine wieners with a lot of things to great effect. They're terrific with veggies like broccoli or kale or mustard greens. They're terrific with pasta or rice, but I think that they really sing when they're combined with beans. So you'll want to choose a variety of bean for this dish that imparts its own personality and flavor. So the ones I'm going to be using today are these hard white colored ones that I have in this large jar. So we're going to be cooking everything today in my favorite Le Creuset Dutch oven. So many of you have asked me about how I clean the inside of this. And the answer is um, I don't really. I will rinse it out. I will wipe it out with a paper towel, but that's about it. And the reason for that is because um, I really like the patina of flavor that has accumulated on the inside of this pot. It becomes like another ingredient to whatever I'm cooking. Why would I ever want to wash that away and lose that flavor? Another thing I love about this dish is the fact that it gives me a chance to clean out my vegetable drawer there are things that I always have on hand. A hunk of leftover cabbage, some celery, some random squash, a sweet potato, probably an old lemon, um, definitely some onions. These can all go into the pot um, even though they're very tired looking and no one will be the wiser. I'm gonna prep all of my vegetables first. These just really need um, a very rough chop. I want everything to be in kind of big pieces because that way I can fish out anything that's a little bit objectionable at the end of the meal. And I like to just slice these straight through the root end and um, leave the skin on. I can always fish that out later. Okay, it's now time for the star of the show. Let's get on to our wieners. I like to increase the wiener smokiness by par roasting them over an open flame. I can do that on my stovetop here. I just hold them over the flame until their skin begins to blister. Shh. 
chef's treat. The few minutes that you are spending holding your wiener over an open flame are negligible, but the odor that you are creating in your kitchen will last forever. I'm just gonna get all of my veggies going, um, get them into the pot to give them a head start. Okay, next go in um, all of the wieners. So just get those in the pot. We'll give that a big stir now. That's looking great. Now it's time to add our beans. I've soaked these in the jar that I store them in. Just add the entire jar to the pot. Oh my gosh, you have no idea how good this is smelling already. I'm gonna turn this down and cover it. I'm gonna let it simmer for about two hours, maybe three, um, maybe four, or you know, those beans are kind of old, so maybe five, but I'm gonna be checking on them throughout the day. Okay, we're about two hours in. Oh my gosh, it's bubbling away. Yeah, everything's still looking uh, pretty hard. Okay, we're gonna have to give this some more time because that's nowhere near ready. Okay, we're at hour four now, and um, yeah, it's, well, it's still looking, those beans are still really hard. Okay, we're at hour six now. Let's check on this. Huh, it's, well, those beans are still really hard. Um, okay, we're gonna have to give this some more time still. I guess that's why we should have done it with pasta. Now that took a lot longer than I expected, but you know, it's done now and it's beautiful. And we now have this gorgeous plate of beanie wieners and I can't wait to dig in. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. But that is, um, that is just delicious. Mm this yeah mm. Mm. I mean I'm so starving that this tastes really good right now I'm gonna pour myself a big drink and um, thanks so much for joining us on this beanie wiener journey it's been a long day oh god I need that